The use of technology in red squirrel conservation is absolutely crucial if we're to keep finding more efficient ways of protecting this endangered species. And in recent years, thermal imaging cameras have really revolutionised the way that people work in the field, allowing volunteers and rangers to be able to work year-round in any weather conditions. Thermal imaging cameras are brilliant tools for monitoring reds, but also, most critically, they've helped us carry out much more effective grey squirrel management in red areas, because they help us to detect greys in woodlands where they would have otherwise gone unnoticed. Certain times of years, squirrels aren't coming to feeder boxes, so in the autumn when the leaves are off the trees, they, they help us no end in locating reds and grey squirrels, um, so we can carry out our management work effectively. When you're using the FLIR, it's fantastic for initially spotting a squirrel or other heat source in the woodlands. The fact that it's lightweight and portable means that you will use it often. You still will need to visually identify what it is that you picked up through the, the thermal, so you'll probably have to carry a pair of binoculars anyway. There's the power on button. Uh, and then you can adjust the brightness of the image displayed through the viewfinder. This P button cycles through the various different settings of white hot, red hot, black hot. Uh, and this is a pause button so you can freeze the image um, and you get a still shot that you can look at and show other people. Um, the units themselves um, have a battery saving mode so after a period without pressing any buttons they will switch themselves off and they'll give you a 30 second countdown um, so you can just press any button and the unit will stay on. When using a flare it's important to use it often um, not just scan the woodland once and then think you're done just keep using it, move a few meters on um, and things which might have been obscured behind a tree trunk or by branches or might have come out could could appear so just be using it as much as as you can little and often as you walk through the woodland let's say it's important to get used to it at first they can be difficult to use it took me a few days of use before I really got comfortable with using them and and picking them up um, but when the conditions are right they're they're fantastic for spotting squirrels